Welcome to the video today, guys. Um, gotta say, as I did it, found another car. Uh, I'm gonna start off by saying that there's no mic connected to the freaking GoPro because my last video sounded like crap because the mic was, I think it's broken. So I've ordered another one. I'm waiting for that to come in. Didn't show up in time, but I'm super excited to record this video. So I just kind of decided to go ahead and record without it. Uh, which sucks because there's a little bit of wind, so we might get some of that feedback. Hopefully we don't, but anyways, uh, are you guys ready to see the car? I don't know if you are. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Ready? Got myself another R50 Pathfinder. This one is a 98 uh, SE. Meaning it has a stupid door lock <laughs> sunroof um you guys probably have questions probably wondering why i went with another r50 but i'll get into that after i'm gonna start showing you guys the inside so i will say it is dusty it does need some love but it's nothing i'm not willing to do but the thing that i'm more most excited about for this car is this it's got the manual five speed meaning it has a tiny bit better gearing it has a four six as opposed to the four three that came in my automatic and yes it is four by four i wouldn't have got it otherwise but back to the car needing some tlc you know like it is kind of gross in here um i'm gonna take everything out vacuum dust clean wipe i'm gonna do everything but the interior all in all is in really good shape no major stains uh, no rips in any of the seats. I was to see well I thought there was gonna be some crazy rips because of the seat covers But surprisingly, there's nothing It's just dirty Same with the passenger side. There's literally nothing wrong with that seat. It's just it was covered so that the seats were protected I guess I don't know if it's just me you guys, but every time I go to sell a car I try to clean it and leave it as clean as possible, right? And I'm not it's not just me like I Don't know anyways I'm sure you guys a trunk. Oh yeah, I came with a new, or not new, but like an extra front sway bar. And a rusty as shit clutch that is supposedly brand new, but I don't think I'll ever use that. But yeah, like all in all, the car isn't in terrible shape. Like I said, I does need some TLC. It was parked up in Big Bear under a giant tree. So that's where all this good stuff comes from. Um... Uh, probably shouldn't touch my blah, 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 blah. Anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, it has its defects. Don't get me wrong. A little rust spot right here, you know, but it's just surface rust. It doesn't look cancerous. So I will be pulling that off to check everything better in detail, kind of like stop it from getting worse. <laughs> like I said, like the car is in okay shape considering what I paid for it. I'm not mad um now why did i go back with an r50 so the day after i recorded that oh no i'm sorry the day of that i recorded that video with uh what was it the update on what happened you know like insurance hasn't called me all that well insurance called me that same day and pretty much found out that i don't have comp and collision on that car i only have it on the subaru so what that means is that everything after that is on me. I have to pay for it. Excuse me. So why did I choose R50? Well, because the red one has so many parts that I can still use that financially speaking, that's probably the best option for me now because I don't want to keep spending money, you know, for anyone that's never gone in an accident, crashing is not cheap. Um, Obviously, people are like, don't want to crash on purpose, you know, but it's it's not cheap, you know, like, unfortunately, when it does happen, if you don't have the right coverage, then you have to pay out of pocket. Um, on top of paying for the storage fees, that's all on me. Well, I mean, I don't get any money for the car. Uh, I'm only getting the light post covered, the one I took out. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it up top. Uh, click on the card. But it's also a platform I'm familiar with, something I know, something I... Uh, I'm comfortable with meaning anything that goes wrong like maybe like eight out of ten times i'll be able to fix myself and i have to pay extra for it a lot of the things that 
are wrong with this car, I can swap over from the old one. Um, I know people are going to be wondering, am I going to swap the suspension? Uh, no, I'm not going to. Why? Because the car did catch air. And when it did land, you know, like the shocks in the back are kind of done. I don't know how the struts are in the front, but because it was a front end collision, I don't know if that damaged it at all. And I don't want to like have to worry about the integrity of the, the new the suspension. I'm sorry. So this will be getting lifted eventually. But for the time being, it's probably going to stay at the height right now. Because I don't want to keep spending a lot of money. I don't want to keep throwing money at a... Because like I said in the last video, I don't need another car. It's just something I really enjoy doing. That's why I went and did it. And the reason why I did it so fast too was because I don't want to have the crash Pathfinder at my house for too long. Because I don't want to like just take up a spot. It's like an eyesore for like in front of the house. Um, I feel like the longer I wait, the more things that could go wrong so i'm just gonna try to get rid of it as soon as possible um i was trying to get like let's say for example if the seats on this were messed up i was gonna swap, uh, switch over all my seats um if anything on the inside was messed up i was gonna do that the things i am gonna do are i'm gonna replace this old school head unit which by the way oh, damn it, it's a fly. i got a sublime cd like an actual cd not like an mp4 digital or i'm sorry like not a burned cd or anything like it actually has a sublime cd and the guy was like, hey, like, if I sell you the car, you have to, you have to keep the CD. And I was like, deal. Like, I respect it. I'm not complaining about that. So I have a new Sublime CD. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to switch this out just because I don't like this weird little phone holder. So mine has it up here. So I'm going to replace this. Uh, I'm going to put my head unit in there because it still works. You know, the stereo was working just fine. The speakers on this are a lot better than mine. So I'm really excited about that. Um, this, uh, what is it, this gauge, it's closer. It's kind of weird. Uh, this is stuck at like eight or nine, 10,000 RPMs. But uh, when it gets a certain speed, it kind of shoots up to like seven or eight. So meaning this is broken. So I'm gonna try to swap mine into it. Um, the gas gauge, I'm not sure if it works or not. Like I was driving it home from Big Bear. For those of you that don't know, it's like about an hour, 20, hour 30 drive from my house. And it was at a quarter tank when I got it and driving down the mountain and like pretty much home, um, it didn't move very much. So I was like, okay, I don't know if this is right or not. So then I put more gas and it went to the halfway point which kind of seems like where it's supposed to be. But then again, like I drove it home for another like few miles, not few, maybe like 30, 40 miles after that, <laughs> excuse me. And it didn't move that much. So I'm just hoping this thing is actually really good on gas. But if not, I mean, I'm gonna hopefully that when I switch this out, mine will fix it. But other things I'm gonna do to this, uh, I was gonna take the wheels and tires off of my red one, but I don't think it will anymore just because they're so big. And this not being lifted, it's going to rub everywhere, rip everything off. So I don't want to have to deal with that. But what I am going to do is replace these factory hubs with my uh, mile marker uh, manual locking hubs. Um, other than that, on the outside of this thing, it's pretty much complete. It has the little spoiler. I'm going to get rid of these, these little crossbars. I'm going to put my old rack on it with the light. I'm going to wire that light as well. Uh... I'm gonna go pretty crazy on the cleaning and detailing of this car. Oh no, I'm putting it in the car, it's the wind. But uh, some of the rubber uh, weather stripping is kind of messed up. So I'm gonna see what I can save, what I can reuse from the other one. If not, I'm just gonna get new ones ordered. But yeah, overall, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. Um, I didn't spend way too much. I actually spent less on this one than I did on my red one uh, with registration. So pretty excited about that. Like I said, it's not the best shape in the world, but it could be much, much worse. And for the prices that I was seeing for other Pathfinders, um, there was like some two wheel drives that were in worse condition than this going for like 2,500. And I was like, dude, these people are out of their freaking minds. So super happy with this. Um, you guys will be seeing everything I did to this car, including the swapping of the stereo, the hubs, the rack um i was gonna do like a full detail video but that's gonna kind of take me a little longer so i think i'm just gonna clean it do all that without recording it but i don't know let's see how i feel but overall i mean it's not a terrible car it's got some good tires on there um, manual five speed starts right up 
no issues whatsoever um no check engine light the guy said it did but when i drove it home it didn't turn it on at all and it's probably driven it like 150 miles now just around town to see if it'll turn back on and it hasn't so i mean hopefully it stays off and if it does come on i mean i'll let you guys know but overall like pretty pleased with what i got for the price i paid um but like yeah uh you guys are going to be tagging along for the lifting of it um anything i do to this car is going to be documented showed on the on the channel just because like i said on the last video everything on the red one was already done you guys didn't really get to see a whole lot of it but pretty excited kind of excited to start over i mean as sad as it is and sad as it sounds um it's good content and it helps uh kind of give me something to do again i mean the spending of the money kind of sucks but it's something i enjoy doing so something i'm not going to stop doing but um but yeah i mean i hope you guys can uh stick around sub to the channel uh you guys can keep up with all the updates i'm gonna try to be posting videos a lot more regularly i know that my last video was like in march but life's been crazy work's been crazy there's a lot of things going on but slowly things are smoothing out i'll be able to have a little more time to um, work on the cars and recording stuff so i hope you guys can uh sub support the channel and yeah i mean i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks